and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Cook. Today, we're going to be making Italian wedding cookies. But most people today call them snowball cookies. I'm sure you've had this delicious ball of goodness, but I am going to show you how I make them here in Japan. I am going to be following uh, this Pinterest recipe that I really like. And the one thing that's a little different about it that varies in all the different recipes of this type of cookie are the nuts. I am going to be doing almonds. P some people use pecans and some people use almonds. I prefer almonds in mine, so that's what I'm going to do. If you can find almond flour, you more power to you. But here in Japan, it's quite difficult to find. And if you do find it, it's really expensive. So I'm just going to make my own because I have a crap ton of almonds. So you will need a food processor for my recipe and some whole almonds with the skin. So this is what my almond flour looks like. Probably looks a little coarser than what you would buy at the store, but that is totally fine. And since I'm making half a recipe today, I only need to use one third cup of almonds. Be sure not to grind your almonds too long, because if you grind it too long, it will eventually turn it to butter. Yes. So just grind them enough to be a fine powder and then you're done. Don't go any further. Even if you're like, oh, maybe I should. Don't. <laughs> Trust me. Next, you will need powdered sugar. Yes. And you will need one third cup powdered sugar. And we're going to cream this with some butter. Now, your butter needs to be room temperature or warmer. Not melted, but super soft and it will just cream like a dream. You need 3 fourths cup of soft butter and let's get to creaming. Now does anybody else know what a Martha Washington is? The Martha Washington candies? Because this is exactly what that base would look like. Or does nobody know am I just showing my age because my grandmother used to make them all the time and I learned how to make them pretty much from her. Add one third teaspoon of salt. Yes, salt. We need half a teaspoon of vanilla. We will now measure one third cup of our almonds. Yes. And we will add the almonds now. It smells so good with this fresh ground almond. Mm. And last but not least, we need one and a half cups of flour. And we are going to mix in the flour until well incorporated. Yes, it will get very thick. So don't be worried if you're like, oh my gosh, it's so dry. It's, it's okay. And you are ready to do the baking part and you can eat this like it is. So good. Okay, so the next step is forming our balls. You are going to take some dough here and you're just gonna roll it around and make a ball. Now these will not spread that much. I'm telling you that now so that you can make your balls however big you like. Some like them small, some like them big. It all depends on the person. So just take your dough, roll it around your hands. If it's not rolling clean on your hands, you need to add a little bit of flour or even a little bit more almond flour and that should be fine but don't add more sugar and don't add more butter definitely not just add a little bit more flour 
or a little bit more almonds. Either one is fine, but yeah. So on my tiny little sheet pan here, I got about 12 balls on there because they really do not spread a lot, which is totally fine. So just keep that in mind. You can fit however many you want on there. Maybe the first batch just go on the small side and then judge from there. I'm sure most of you have regular sized ovens and will use a much bigger sheet pan than what I do. These then go into a preheated oven of 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. If you're on Celsius degrees, I am using 180 degrees Celsius. Yes. <laughs> it's a little bit different, the conversion, but yeah, I don't really have a choice because in Japan, we use Celsius. While your cookies are cooking, you can get the extra powdered sugar you need to coat the outside of them with. And you can decide how you wish to do that method. There are several different methods. Many people just put them in a bowl, sprinkle some powdered sugar on them, and toss it around, and then bam, you're done. Some people use a bag. Like, there's so many different ways. You can choose whatever method you'd like. I'm gonna use the bag method because I feel like it gives a really good coat. Okay, my first batch is out and they are perfect. Like, they aren't super brown on the bottom, which is good. And they aren't brown at all on top, which is very, very good. I have a regular old bag. I'm going to put my cookies inside like this and I just give it a couple of spins and I shake 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 hopefully your bag does not have a hole in it my first bag did <laughs> and there you go okay after you are done coating your cookies it'll look like this Now you can leave them in the baggie that you just tossed around in and just make sure it's a sealable bag or you could plate it up and make it nice and presentable for some guests. But when you're done with them and you have some left over, make sure you store them in an airtight container because they can go stale. It is taste test time. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Perfect. And this is what it looks like inside. And one more tip about the cookies, they need to be completely cool for you to put the icing sugar on it because otherwise it will just melt away and make this messy goop stuff on it. So definitely just make sure they're cool. Thanks for watching and let me know if you make them. I want to see your versions and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!